I can give you a very interesting recent, relatively recent example of this. A good friend of mine who works in the same healthcare system that I do is a pediatrician. He's um, in his mid to late 40s, and uh, he was diagnosed uh, with type 2 diabetes. And he reached out to me uh, largely because he knew I'd written the book. Uh, we started talking, and I knew him quite well, and he did not fit the criteria that you would think for typical person with type 2 diabetes. So I said, did you think about Leda? Do you think about that? And uh, he paused for a second and said, no, I hadn't. I never even heard of it. I said, well, I encourage him to ask his endocrinologist, why don't you just go ahead and do some of the proper testing for that? Uh, a few weeks, about a month or so later, he gets back with me and says, yep, that, that's what I have. And part of this came from the fact that his uh, oral agent that they were using for him, which was metformin, we all know what that is, a very commonly used type right, 2 medication, yeah. just wasn't cutting it. And his blood sugars were still a bit out of range. And so once they made the diagnosis of later, they, they got him on the appropriate therapy, much better off. Uh, and, and using some of the principles from my book, he's, been, he's also been uh, thriving there too. And that was in, not that long ago, but this happens all the time uh, in medical practice. And uh, to, to your point about why you have this podcast and why you wrote your book, uh, it is everywhere. And I wish I could say it's going to go away, this misdiagnosis, but I'm being real frank with you, Lynn.